Today is Saturday, and it was a good day. Clearly, I was in the sun. Um, not just laying out, though. I woke up and actually had a really good morning. Um, really good scripture study, and went to the breast lymph class learning how to drain your lymph and your breasts after trauma or tight bras and the importance of it. That was really good. She's been teaching forever, the woman that did it. And um, very informative and gave really good take-home tools that I'll probably be sharing with women um, from here on out, obviously. Um, I just was productive, connected, went to that class, did my wheatgrass, sat in the sauna, worked out, and guess what? Tonight, Saturday nights are ice cream night. And they do frozen ice cream through an omega juicer. I mean, uh, frozen bananas. And it comes out like so creamy. And I only had a couple bites of that because I actually am supposed to stay away from fruit. But they had in almond milk ice cream where you literally they just froze some almond milk but such a treat and it was wonderful um the majority of the afternoon like hours was were spent in the mineral pool and joe the guy a german guy that i met here um is trained in a therapy called water shiatsu and you're in a pool and you're completely suspended on noodles under your head and under your knees and you just allow yourself to like totally surrender and he moves your body in a way that simulates you being back in the womb and it can be very healing and I don't know if this is part of it but he also talks you through some imagery he was a life coach um, before this he's actually in the ambassador program or the health educator program here and um, I did a session yesterday and I did a session today. Well, what was cool is that he combined um, my friend Selena and I together, meaning um, we shared some noodles and then he moved our bodies like in sync and just having that person right next to you and I really have bonded with her. So that was really powerful. And it added a whole nother dimension of connection, of um, sometimes sensuality, arousal, um, warmth, comfort, um, surrender. And then at one point he unseparated us and then moved her on top of me. So um, her back was on my, and her head was on my chest. And we were both just laying in the water and then he talked us through some things. It was, it was very, beautiful bonding experience and very healing in a lot of ways and I've been so grateful because I've actually worked with him a couple of times not like professionally I mean he's a friend but he's just helped me and given me some tools um, I wanted to update about cancer itself and the tumor um, I was told to use poke root oil p-o-k-e so I got some of that today. Joe actually gave me a bottle that he wasn't using. And you rub it on, I'm gonna rub it on this left calcified lymph node and on the breasts and down into the lymph nodes here. And it has helped tumor shrink. So I just got that today and I'm still doing um, the wheatgrass poultice on my tumor. Um, I don't know if that's the word, the pulp that I make the bandage. I'm not confident of the word, but um, I'm trying not to go there of like, is it sh has it shrunk, has it not? I don't go there, I just am nourishing and nurturing. Um, so cancer is very much there and it's always kind of hanging over me, even if I don't mention it or if I talk about other things that I'm learning. Um, cancer is the reason why I'm here and I'm, my body's aware of that and I'm aware of that, but I don't give it energy like that. I'm just trying to be present and do what feels right um, through the spirit, through opportunity, through just natural unfoldings. Um, so we did that for a, like hours in the mineral pool 
the Dead Sea Salt Mineral Pool that they have here. Um, and Saturdays you don't have a schedule, so it was just a very beautiful, beautiful day. Um, that's it.